All right, guys, we're back in Freed Code Camp. We're finishing up the basic algorithm scripting, bonfire, seek, and destroy. Now, I have to say, this was by far the longest time-wise and the hardest one for me in this section. Um, the last section is a little bit easier, in my opinion, or at least it was more intuitive. So the first thing you have to do is go over this arguments object and a rate up filter we used once before. And uh, this is actually a great example of trying to recycle your code, and you'll see that in just a second. So um, essentially what's going on with this line of code, this is just copy and paste from the documentation, is we're creating a, basically a temporary array um, that's going to get the whole value here. And why that's important is currently we're only returning this array and not these other values. So when we do that, let's look at it now, we're going to get the 2 and the 3. So that's what we really need. We need to compare the 2 and the 3 with that first array. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to splice it. So we splice from 0 to 1. And you'll see now that we should have spliced out. Oops. Spliced out this index. And now we only have two and three. Perfect. So now we can just kind of do what we normally would do. Um, so in my case, I would create a placeholder. Uh, you don't need to do this. Actually, I just, I don't know. I just feel more, more comfortable doing this. But uh, as you get better, um, for me, I don't like just changing the same variable again and again. I like kind of following the steps and having a clean original version to an array. And that's kind of what the, the idea there is. So... We're going to need to iterate through the original array. So um, at this point, you should kind of have an idea how to how to set this up just from pure practice. So set a variable, just a counter variable, zero. Why it's less than the size of our original array, add one. And then, and then we're going to do another array because we need to actually compare it with our second args array here of two and three. So we're going to create a variable called j. And say while well, j is less than args dot length, uh, increase by one. And these are um, iterated in it, so we're going to check the one value, and then uh, the original array, if it's there, delete it if it matches any of the args. So that's kind of why we do it in that order. So what are we going to do? We're just going to delete the uh, the array item. If it, but uh, we don't want to delete them all, so we have to do an if statement. So we're going to say if ri is equal equal to args j and get our brackets correct here delete that value so why is that and then here we'll just say placeholder is equal to r i r And then return placeholder. So you can see right here, it kind of worked. Uh, <laughs> um, we removed all the values that were two and three, but unfortunately, we ha we're left with these nulls. So this is a great example of how, if you remember back a few bonfires back, we had to use a um, the filter function. So if you don't remember how that works, um, you call filter on an array, and then you have a function. In this case, I called mine remove false variable. And I literally copied and pasted this over from um, the example. So uh, we're going to create a function here called remove false um, var. And then value is our parameter we're inputting. And then in this case, we just return the Boolean of value. So any falsy values such as null, we're going to be able to remove. Then we run it, we're all good to go. So let's put in some code right here. Um, um, get full array values. Uh, remove original array. Um, compare arguments compare uh, array with values and delete any matches 
filter out falsy values. Oops. And and that's it. So um, this one was really hard. There's about 10 different ways I saw online for people to solve it. No one really solved it this way. <clears throat> this is how I found it intuitive to solve it. I don't know if one's better than the other. Um, we could probably get rid of this placeholder and um, just set it all to R. Um, just a matter of opinion, but that's probably the best way to do it. But as always, thanks for watching the video. I hope it helped you in solving it yourself. And if you solved it a different way, let me know in the comments below. And constructive criticism, always appreciated. And likes and subscribes are appreciated among all else. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And I appreciate all the comments that I get and all the questions I get in the comments. And I'm happy to answer them. So keep them coming. And I'll see you in the next video.